Hello, welcome to the Environmental Management Essentials lesson. This lesson will help you understand the essentials of managing environmental impact and focus your efforts on the areas that matter most to your customers and save money in your factory. By the end of this lesson, you'll understand the expectations from your customers on managing environmental impact. Learn where to focus your efforts in order to meet brand expectations while reducing costs. Learn the eight key principles for environmental management. There are four parts that make up an environmental management system. A policy or strategy that guides decision making. This is a one-page statement signed by management that outlines the environmental goals that the company commits itself to. Tracking, measuring, and documenting all significant environmental impacts. For example, recording how much greenhouse gases you emit. Designating accountable personnel and training them on the EMS. So you'll need to appoint some people to be responsible for the EMS and train them. Management review, at least annually, for effectiveness of the system. Having an EMS in place provides some important benefits. When a customer begins evaluating your factory's environmental credentials, having an EMS in place is the first thing they'll look for. First, at the brand level, it demonstrates your factory is taking steps to control its impact and that you have the data to back up your claims. And second, at the factory level, an EMS can save money by helping you to reduce waste, energy, and water in your factory. Welcome to this lesson on managing energy use and greenhouse gas emissions. By the time you finish this lesson, you'll understand the purpose and benefits of managing energy use and emissions. Be aware of the expectations of your clients and legal requirements. Understand the steps you can take to manage your energy use and greenhouse gas emissions. Leo is the manager of Westlake Apparel, a clothing manufacturer in Zhejiang, China. He's just gotten another call from Wearout, one of their biggest clients, about energy and greenhouse gas emissions. Wearout already monitors its own emissions, but starting next year, they plan to include the emissions their suppliers create in producing the clothes that Wearout sells. They ask that Leo begin monitoring his factory's energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions so they can include them in the report next year. Leo has no idea what their greenhouse gas emissions might be. What should he do? Hire a consultant to calculate their greenhouse gas emissions. It's too complicated to do this themselves. Come up with a number that sounds good. Their emissions probably aren't very significant anyway. Figure out how to calculate their greenhouse gas emissions. Ignore the request. They're probably not that serious about it. Welcome to this lesson on managing waste in factories. By the time you finish this lesson, you'll understand customer requirements on waste management, how to spot opportunities for reducing waste, how to develop a plan for minimizing the cost of waste. Nobody likes waste. We don't like taking out our garbage. We're annoyed by garbage thrown in the streets or destroying natural scenery. We protest when the city tries to open a landfill or incinerator near our homes. Efficiency experts hate waste too. All waste was once valuable materials bought and paid for, so waste is money thrown away. They also see the hidden cost of waste, the time we spend with it, creating, collecting, inspecting, moving, and disposing of waste. As we'll see, these hidden costs in factories can dwarf the more obvious costs of waste like disposal fees. And the problem of waste extends beyond factories. Brands and retailers are recognizing that waste created in the factories making their products is their responsibility too. Their customers want to know that the products they buy are not needlessly contributing to the world's multitude of waste problems. Ever-expanding dump sites contaminating soil and water, toxic air pollution from incinerators, and garbage scattered across natural and built environments. Finally, waste is responsible for the dangerous depletion of our planet's resources. Thank you for taking the time to complete this lesson.